Yo, what up? Hey, how you doing guys? My name is Sanj and today I'm here to welcome you to my new series of video called Ways to Wear in which I take one garment and show you guys how it can be worn in three or four different styles. Okay, so I know there's been a slight camera change but I just wanted to show you guys clearly how these trousers look. So here you have the Club Monaco Baxter cuffed pants featuring a tapered leg, quite slim. At the bottom you've got obviously the knitted cuffs. These very much fit like a pair of um, tailored pants, not much in the sweatpants detailing. I mean, you've got the slanted pockets on the side. I don't know if you can pick that out. Yeah, you can. You've got the well pockets in the back, one with a button, one without. And um, as you can see, the main key point for these trousers, for me anyway, was the fact that they're super subtle. They're not the all-in-your-face camos that you see um, the likes of Nick Wooster and, and, and uh, the remaining wearing. These are super subtle. You can pull them off super easily and they just look cool so it's an extra detail so if anybody wants to look at them in a specific light it would be oh awesome so first up we've got the streetwear based look in which i've chucked on my pair of night free trainers along with the trousers um i also have in the following video you'll see anyway my black t-shirt from cloth surgeon it's a london based brand that heavily features tailored elements um along with streetwear combining them together and you've got this amazing melange of um well-crafted pieces. This one in particular features raglan sleeves. It is elongated as you can see and it just fits great. It's quite heavy. Um, it has heavy cotton anyway so it's perfect for the winter time. It retails for £45 if I recall correctly and um, yeah so that's the cloth surgeon black t-shirt and then finally you've got my black scale heather grey hoodie. Um, I believe this one was called Rebirth. So I won't go into much detail obviously because it is sold out and from previous season but as far as I know they do come up with the standard heather grey and black hoodies um, every season so this just has the logo the Trojan horse on the sleeve um, as you can see from the following video it fits great I like to have my hoodie slightly not too big but I like them to be somewhat roomy especially the ones without a zip um, you just kind of let them sit basically so that is a size medium and uh, take a look Sorry about that little ramble, I tend to go off tangent sometimes, but anyway, as you can see, um, I do tend to pull up my sleeves and give up that whole bunched up effect. When you're wearing just two layers, especially as a hoodie and a t-shirt, you kind of want to add a little extra to your outfit. Uh, you've got the Nike free trainers, and the layering game is definitely present, and that will be it for streetwear. Next up we've got casual wear. Now to me what casual wear means is how comfortable you are in your clothes and how quickly you can get out of your house. So to begin this look with we've got my Doc Martens shoe standard black eight um, eyelets. They've been worn a fair amount of times. I've had them for 2-3 years. I wish they were a bit more trashed but unfortunately they're just not quite there yet. So we still got the camo pants. Um, I believe I've got the cloth surgeon black t-shirt on again but this time I took off the, uh, the hoodie and I chucked on an APC cable knit cream coloured um, jumper it doesn't feature much detail obviously which is prominent in APC style um, fairly simple and minimalistic well cut um, and super soft to touch as well and then lastly I chucked on one of my favourite coats we've got this Burberry duffel coat now um, I know it is Burberry and it is obviously quite dear however you can and will be able to find it at cheap prices whether it be in vintage store which is where I found mine uh, vintage second hand eBay like mine isn't exactly in perfect condition either so obviously features the four toggles the hood um, the toggles on the side and uh, this is my go-to jacket for anything that needs me to be out of the house very quickly and without thinking it's a beautiful color it goes um, a lot with everything and um, yeah it's pretty London if I was to say so myself check it out so let me just start off by rectifying what I said earlier um, it's clearly not a hat on the Burberry duffel coat it's just a hoodie um, obviously with these shots you get a clearer idea as to how the cloth surgeon t-shirt fits it's one of my personal favorites in my wardrobe and for this weather uh, and season it's perfect it's just that right thickness not too thick but not too thin either also another beauty about this look is obviously all you need to do is remove the hoodie from our previous look throw on an APC sweater and a, and a coat and then change the shoes and you've got something that's completely on a different vibe and uh, you can wear this when you go out you can wear this going for dinner or whatever obviously not to the classier ends of 
um, of London. Uh, this look also features a hat, which I forgot to mention. It's by Lock & Co. And this specific style is called a Voyager. He is forever with me like a kimchi stain on a white t-shirt. Korean Jesus was the original K-Town hipster wearing sandals and a full beard. You're welcome. So we're now approaching this more formal and classier end of the lookbook in which um, I feature some brown tasseled loafers. Super easy to pair up with pretty much everything. Once again, super versatile shoes. I personally think every man should own a pair. Um, you've got the trousers again. Um, you've got a white shirt, mine in particular was from Tom Brown, I know it's quite a dear, dear shirt and personally I don't know if I'd even buy a shirt that would be that expensive, fortunately I got mine as a gift so I don't feel half as bad, plus that shirt just made me look real dark, anyway, um, so we've got the Tom Brown shirt or any sort of white shirt would work, any sort of light blue pink shirt would work with those sort of um, combos, you've got a navy knit coming along, v-neck, a tie and a bag from Mismo. Also one of my favourite retailers is Mr Porter and you'll find that the majority of these clothes can be found in Mr Porter as well. I know that just recently they've started stocking at Monaco so it's a good outlet for us in the UK seeing as they've just got one store which they've just opened on Redshirt Street in Shoreditch and um, quite recently I just went there as well. Awesome place. Um, but yeah check out the look and let me know what you think. Okay then, this is when it gets to the real cinematic and trailer effect of this video, um, with all the shots. But anyway, we've got a tie from Brooks Brothers, you've got the leather tasseled loafers from Reese, um, absolute beauties, really like them. You've got the front, the side with the shirt making me look real fat. Um, coming up next we also have a v-neck from MCQ in a really dark navy, features some elbow patches. Just looks great. Um, such an easy colour to pair up with, and to just works well uh, with the trousers. Also, throw on a bag from Mismo, just an extra accessory to carry out all your stuff. Uh, you want to keep your pockets kind of clean and mess free. And finally, for that classic British country vibe, just throw on a barber jacket and a nice aquascutum scarf, and you'll be good to go. And there we have it, that is it for the video, so that was how I paired up my Club Monaco Baxter cuff pants in a camo print in three different ways, we've got the street wear, the casual wear and the smart wear. Um, hope you enjoyed the content, um, there will be a lot more stuff to come along those lines in which I'll showcase how to wear different pieces, we've got a lot more content, I know I'm just getting started at this so hopefully I'll get better at talking to the camera as well. Um, along with better audio equipment because I know this one bugs out a bit. What else did I want to say? Um, but yeah, just uh, when you next purchase something, especially when it's quite dear, have a think as to how you're going to be able to wear it. You don't kind of want to spend a bit of money on a piece of item or article that you'll just wear in one specific style. You do want it to be versatile. So think about that. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Oh, all the brands and all the stuff. Um, Obviously you don't have to buy it from the same brand, just look for anything along those style and you'll be able to pull it off um, easily. So that is it for me, hope you enjoy the content um, and uh, yeah, see you guys.